here's today's project. You're going to build a paper tower as tall as you can out of four pieces of paper and two, pe two feet of masking tape. Okay, here's masking tape here. We use it for painting. Uh, it's something we use for making nice straight lines. It's made out of paper. On the back side, there's adhesive on it. Uh, how do we measure two feet? Well, we wrap it around a ruler. Okay, uh, down one side, up the other. A ruler is about 12 inches or one foot long. So by doing two sides, you have two feet. Uh, things that you could do or use, you use scissors, cut the paper however you want. You need to shape the paper, okay? Ways to shape the paper. You could take it, you could roll it around a pencil, okay? So you could come like this and you could make a cylinder or a tube. Um, this could be also called like a pillar. Where would you use a pillar in architecture for building something? Hmm, like ancient Rome? Okay, so you could build pillars to make your project. Uh, you could also use something like your ruler. Uh, use it to fold nice straight edges. You could make uh, like triangles. Okay, those triangles or those squares, you can make those as well. Uh, there's lots of strength to those. So you could put those together and build pieces to stand up. All right, so I just built one of these triangles. If you look really close here, you can see that there's a tiny little piece of tape on the edge, one in the middle and one in the far end. When you're initially building, just use as little tape as possible. What one partner could do is they could be cutting the tape while the other partner is assembling the pieces. Uh, here, I've laid out the tape into little pieces on the edge. Uh, the reason why I do this is so I can use as little as possible. Uh, if I have tape left over at the end, I can come back and I can reinforce with it. Use as little tape as you can. All right, so here's my tower so far. A uh, couple things that I've done. I've taped my tower to the, to the table so it's nice and sturdy. Okay, I've also taken strips of paper and used them as like guide wires, support wires. Seems to work pretty good. Okay, I'm finally done. So let's check this out. Here's the base. That's about 12 inches, about 24 inches or two feet. That's about 36 inches or three feet. That's about 48 inches and or four feet. And coming up to the top, I'm almost at five feet tall. I'm actually at 58 inches and a quarter. So what you need to do in the rest of the class is you need to brainstorm and you need to build one of these towers until about the last five, ten minutes of class, let's say ten minutes. At that point, your teacher is going to go around, they're going to measure your tower, we're going to see who designed the tallest tower in the class. Alright, have fun.